Sigrid, it is incredible to finally meet you and chat with you. I hate to start on a disappointed note, but I am very disappointed. Why are you disappointed? <laughs> so I saw. I love I, I, <laughs> we're not even a second into this interview, and I'm disappointed. I saw your video of your Alexa skill. Alexa, what do you see when you look in the mirror? Mm, well. I love who I see looking at me in the mirror. Yeah. And so oh. I decided to try it. And mm -hmm. here's my disappointment. Hey, Alexa, what do you see when you look in the mirror? I look like lots of ones and zeros. <laughs> How oh, disappointing no. is that? I guess we'll have to talk to Alexa about this. <laughs> we'll have to fix this problem. I'm going to call her right up. Do it right. Yeah. I know you can make things happen. Sigrid, <laughs> welcome to America's Dance 30. Thank you so much. Really nice to chat to you. Now, are you in Norway now? I'm actually in London. Oh, okay. Yeah. So have you been in London the entire time during the pandemic? No, I was in Norway. I was actually in LA right before the pandemic happened. And then I got on the first flight back home when everything started to happening. And I've been now in London for just a few weeks. So it's my first like big big travel again so that feels very exciting that's so awesome and it's so awesome that things are finally somewhat getting back to normal <laughs> yeah it's been a while hasn't it yeah it really has but thank you very much for the one song that we all needed after this year and a half with mirror where did the song come from Oh, thank you. Yeah, Mirror is a song that I definitely needed to hear. And that's usually why, I, like, the mentality I have going into the studio. Like, I write the songs that I think, oh, I needed to hear this song today. And Mirror is a song about accepting who you are. Um, for me, it's a lot about, like, personality things. Like, accepting who I am with all my negative sides, my positive sides, uh, who I am when I'm with people and my relationship to myself. And it's a very positive message in it. And I still listen to it and I'm like, yes, I needed to hear that today. <laughs> it is so positive. And was it written BC or DC before COVID yeah. or during COVID? Wow. That's what we're going to talk about in time now. Right? Isn't it? <laughs> wow. I'm going to steal that now. I'm like, I'm going to start saying that. Um, <laughs> this was started um, in LA uh, with Emily Warren and, uh, and uh, Syl Sylvester. Um, and uh, it was finished actually in Copenhagen in Denmark uh, of the summer when Norway wasn't like in a travel corridor between Norway and Denmark. So, I mean, started before the pandemic finished during it and emily warren is so incredible she did a lot of work with the chain smokers right yeah 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 know yeah. those guys they're incredible it is time to get to know the real sigrid with something i call thinkies firsts i'm just gonna ask you some questions about some sigrid firsts and just tell me the first thing that comes to mind all right I love it. I'm ready. I, I didn't know that we would actually have something in common, but we do because when I was growing up, I actually wanted to be a lawyer too uh, ah! because, because I loved arguing until I met a radio DJ here in town <laughs> and that changed everything. What was the first point that you realized that you didn't want to do law and you wanted to get into singing? Mm. I think that was when I wrote my very first song at 16. I wrote it by myself on the piano and it wasn't any, it wasn't great, but I felt like I could hear some potential in it. I was like, this is catchy. And I think already then was probably like the first time I was thinking like, well, maybe it isn't law that I'm going to do. Maybe I like this little music thing. Who was the first person that you sang that first song to? I'm sure it was my parents. <laughs> my parents hear everything that I do. It's been really funny. Like I've, I've been so lucky to have a lot of positive reviews for my songs, but like my parents are always the first ones to, to hear like demos. And like, if I'm back home in Olesund in Norway, where I'm from, I'll be in the living room with them, like playing on the piano and they'll be like, yeah, I like that. 
that's kind of cool. Or they'd be like, cigarettes, that, that's not really working. Maybe you should move to like a different, a different style. <laughs> yeah, they're opinionated. <laughs> they're like, yeah, I mean, it's good, but you should probably yeah. move along. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Now, in the video for your awesome song, Mirror, uh, you know, it starts out with you in the car singing the melody. What was your first car? <gasps> Ooh, I never, I never had a car on my own. Stop. I- no, I hadn't. I didn't have. I had. I was biking a lot, bicycling. I was biking to school every day. No matter what the weather was, I would go on the bicycle. And like, I don't feel a bit stupid like walking in with like my full rain outfit. But <laughs> I mean, I kept warm. Um, I guess I borrowed my parents' car. For sure. I did the same. Yeah. It is totally you did cool. The same. Yeah, I totally nice. borrowed my my mom let me borrow her car. It was I want to say a white Grand Am. I think oh, <laughs> I, I don't <nice>. know. <laughs> <laughs> so, did I see that your first headlining tour was a few years ago in 2018? Uh, probably. No, I can't remember. It feels so long ago. <laughs> That's 2018 BC, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you remember your first time stepping on stage to perform? 100%. I did not like it at all. I was so nervous. I was such a shy kid growing up. I think my my family are still quite in shock that I'm an artist and that I go on stage and like I have no problem with them. Like no, doesn't matter how many thousands of people. I'm like, "Yes, let's go." Um, but yeah, growing up, first time I was on stage, kindergarten, singing with 200 other kids i was on stage crying so hard that my mom had to hold me and like take me down from stage because i was they could only hear me screaming and not like the same it was that bad yeah, I was kind of shy. So you talk about being shy and I'm kind of the same way. You know, I, I hate mm. being in like small meetings, but get me out on stage in front of like mm. 20,000 people and I'm good to yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. Is there something you do to prepare yourself to get out on stage? I tend to just hang out with my band and my crew. Um, I, I mean, I on, on the past tours, I was gaming a lot of Sims. Uh, the sims like the computer game right um to just do something completely different than my job and i think also like i'm always can be a little nervous before i go on stage but when i'm on stage you just don't have time to think about it i don't know if you feel the same but like there's too many people in front of you so there's there's literally no time to be nervous so you just try to enjoy it and then after i've done like 30 seconds of singing i'm like all right. All right. I'm it. in this, right? Exactly. <laughs> and it, yeah. it's, I'm the same yeah. way. You know, you get really nervous leading up to it. And that's what kind of makes it an even better experience when you're out there. And then mm-hmm. once you get out there, you're like, all right, this is it. You know, there's no messing up Absolutely. now. What is the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning? I wish I could say something cooler, <laughs> but it's probably looking at my phone. I'll have to be honest here. I'm not going to lie. That's the one. Probably checking my texts, Instagram. That is but so bad. The past week, it's so bad. But past week, I've been trying to do yoga early because my manager is really into yoga. Uh, it's been good, but I don't know if I can keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, let's hope that's something you can keep up. <laughs> Ask me in a year and like ask me how it goes. We'll, we'll see. Deal. Finally, what is the first word that comes to mind when you think of Sigrid? Oh, um, not to brag, not to brag. This is not my words, but it's a Norse word, like an old Norwegian uh, name from like Norse mythology. And in that like Norse mythology, it means beautiful victory. Aww. It's actually what it means. <laughs> I don't know if I'm living up to the name, but that's kind of cool that that's, that's my, the meaning of my name. But the first thing I think of when I hear Sigrid, I think a noob, a little cute noob. <laughs> Loving music, doing her thing. <laughs> Can I just tell you that I love that you use the word noob? <laughs> it's, a, it's a word we say a lot in the family too. I know it like probably has other like connotations. <laughs> no, like, I totally you know, get it. Yeah, I totally <laughs> get it. Probably, yeah, it's like you're just a noob. <laughs> Sigrid, congratulations on everything. It is so awesome getting to catch up with you. What is next for you? I know Mirror is pretty brand new, but what's next for Sigrid? Oh, thank you so much. Um, I'm not going anywhere. So 
Let's see. <laughs> there's, lo- there's lots of things happening, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very exciting. I'm, are, I'm really excited. Are we going to see Sigrid doing some more archery, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> that was hard. I should practice more. I will, I will be more prepared next time. It was really funny with that because I was thinking like, no point in like, you know, lying of how it was. Like, show, show the process. Like the the struggle, but the editing was yeah. spot on. Editing was great. I was when I went over to look at the screen, I was like, "Oh my, thank you, thank you, look so good." You're like, I'm I was thinking, like, is this? But is this how they do the action movies? <laughs> well, I'm surprised you didn't have a stunt person for you <laughs> to pull it back. <laughs> it is so awesome meeting you. Thank you for your time. Oh, thank you so much. Lovely to chat to you. 